This is Whiskey Happens, the finale, 12 Days of Bourbon. I'm Garrett, that's Travis, and it's almost Christmas, everybody. Um, So happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Let's just get that out of the way. Yes. You've been with us through this whole journey. You know, we're counting down our age stated bourbon from 12 to one year. You might be asking, what one year bourbon do we have? We don't. Simple as that. We don't. (laughs) We don't. Uh, We're going a little bit off script here, and we're going to, we decided to select our first barrel pick, which was a New Riff product, New Riff single barrel. Uh, I can just read from the bottle. The one thing that uh, Travis and I have enjoyed about New Riff is their transparency. There isn't a um, need to guess at anything about New Riff whatsoever. No. So this was barreled on 2518. Um and then it was bottled on 52722. Travis and I picked it up on 61422. Yeah, around right there. I'm yeah. almost there. Yeah. Aroma, red fruits, caramel, macchiato, flavor, applesauce, vanilla, finish, spicy oak, cereal number or barrel number 8646. Uh, coming in at 105.9 proof, people have been riding up to 106 this whole time. The regular single barrels are about $50. I haven't had a bad store pick, barrel pick, whiskey club pick, whatever you want to call it, whatsoever. I don't currently have a regular single barrel, but I've not been disappointed by New Roof single barrels thus far, even on the rye side. It's, it's a tasty treat, and that's how we came to this selection right here. Travis, you, your first motions yes. ran high. Uh, love it. I will say it was a it was a process, and we loved every minute of it. It's um, I love the fact that we could choose it. I, I mean, I, I don't know how else to say that. If you have an opportunity with a group or whatever to choose your own barrel, it really is just such a fun process. And um, you really kind of get your own mark on these. And for us, we got to choose between a couple different ones. And this was the one that really stood out to both of us. And it still stands out to me. I still love this. I mean, I'm almost done with my first bottle and that's um, I've still got a couple left, but it will always be something that is near and dear to my heart. And so this is something that wrapping up the end of this year for me was just something that really was a great that we got to do together, me and Garrett. So, yeah, one thing I will add um, the single barrel process with new Rift was pretty much Flawless, I would say, um, as far as them coming forth with information, the process, next steps, and things like that. So if you've never done a pick with them, um, I say this with rose-colored glasses because we've also never done any other picks. However, for the first pick, it wasn't bad. Yes, is there things we would do differently? Sure. Yeah. Uh, your first time doing anything, you're like, oh, I know what I would do different. However... As far as them guiding us through what we need to do and how things work, uh, eight out of ten. You know, it's up there. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I said this or not, but 65% corn, 30% malted barley, 5% rye is their mash bill for single barrels. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, I will. I will say though, um, you're. I have had one bad single barrel from them, which was surprising because I agree with you almost to this last one, this one I had prior to this, I was just like, whew. But once again, taste is subjective. And that's what, that's what you get with single barrels. And that's why if you are a smaller group or you don't have um, the means to get a full barrel, half barrel, that is one beautiful thing about New Rift. They do quarter barrels. A lot of very few places do quarter barrels. I think they might be one of the only ones. And so 
it's a great opportunity for anyone who wants to get into doing their first barrel pick. I totally agree. Having the flexibility to determine the quantity that you need or that fit your groups need, whatever have you be you, uh, $50 a bottle. They may have changed their pricing since then. I feel like inflation has affected everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Originally $50 MSRP is all I can say, or at the time of this recording or at the time of our purchasing, uh, $50. Um, yep. Or that's what it averages out to. Don't, don't, don't be hard pressed to prove me wrong. That's all I'm saying. Around yeah. that area is where we're around. At. Yeah, it was around, it was around that with taxes and all the other stuff. It was a little, whatever, but, um, it was great experience. We loved it. Um, and that will round out our year and round out our 12 days of bourbon. Um, this will probably be our last episode this year. Garrett's traveling a lot. I'm traveling, uh, family holidays, all of this stuff. Um, so we just want to I want to take a second. I know Garrett probably feels the same way to thank everyone for being part of this community and being part of our family and um, really hoping to expand next year and interact with more of you guys on a regular basis, be able to do some more barrel picks. Um, We've already started getting that in the works. Um, So if you haven't had a chance, you know, hit the subscribe button below. Uh, join us on our um, website so that way we know where you guys are located so that we can uh, reach out to you guys when we do our barrel picks. And um, I hope everyone has a great holiday. Be safe out there. Drink responsibly. All those fun things that, you know, that we have to say and we want to say, make sure everyone's, you know, have a great end of the year. And Garrett, what else? Anything else that I might have missed? Yeah, if you're interested in getting a bottle of our store pick, hit us up on Instagram. And until then, doesn't matter if you like it neat, rocks on the Coke. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.